Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. One of the greatest fears among NEET aspirants is physics. Most of the time, physics will be the deciding factor for your overall marks and rank in NEET examination. If you are weak in physics or if you are struggling to understand the concepts but you are not getting it, if your overall marks is getting less just because you are getting low marks in physics, watch this video. In this video, I will tell you some easy concepts which are easy to understand and which are high yield concepts in need. Before that, I want to clarify this. The chapters which I am not mentioning here are not to neglect. You have to read all the chapters and try to understand at least basic concepts and formulas. So even if the question comes from that concept, you can at least try. High yield concept in neat physics are units and measurements. It is a very small chapter and has few concepts, error analysis and dimensional analysis. Usually one or two question comes from this chapter. If you are good in dimensional analysis, you can even uh, use this method to eliminate some of the options in a given question. Second chapter is properties of solid. This is a very small chapter and has very few formulas. And the concept are Hooke's law, stress and strain curve and elastic mod moduli. Usually question comes from these concept and it has very few formulas. Next chapter is thermal properties of matter. This chapter has few formulas and it is very easy to understand. If you know those formulas and if you have understood that properly, it is easy to score in this chapter. Usually one question comes from this chapter, uh, mainly from heat, heat transfer or heat capacities or thermal conduction, thermal expansion, coefficient of expansions and all. Next very important chapter is thermodynamics. Usually two to three question comes from this chapter as this, this chapter is uh, same repeated in uh, chemistry you can interlink them and understand it even better but remember that in chemistry and physics thermodynamics they are a bit different so be clear about that usually uh, as i told usually two to three question comes from this chapter and focus more on heat engines the work done and efficiency thermodynamic processes iso isothermal adiabatic and their graphs and next chapter is kinetic theory of gases. Usually one question comes from this chapter and it is a bit easy to understand. And the concept here is degrees of freedom, ideal gas equation which is same in uh, chemistry too. So you can interlink and uh, understand it even better. Next chapter is oscillation. This is a very important uh, topic which is SHM, simple harmonic motion. Usually question will be asked for, uh, asked about simple pendulum or spring block system type problems and they, they can be uh, they can ask question regarding velocity acceleration or energy of the system too. Usually uh, one to two question comes from this chapter which will be like bit moderate and easy. Next chapter is waves. Usually uh, most of the students neglect this chapter but it is very easy. There are very few concepts like you have to focus on beat, Doppler system. In Doppler system, they can ask from whether the uh, uh, source is moving towards the observer or away from the observer and the progressive wave. You have to know the equation of progressive wave and standing waves, the normal modes of string and the uh, open and closed pipe organ. They can ask about nodes, anti-nodes, harmonic, frequency important chapter usually one or two question comes from this chapter so focus on it next is gravitation this is simple chapter uh, which has very few concepts and formulas and easy to understand the concept here is uh, the question can be asked from gravity uh, gravity above the earth depth below the earth and variation of gravity and there are formulas for those and they can even ask about uh, escape velocity and maximum height above the earth or orbital speed and 
a time period of the satellite and Kepler law. Usually like one to two question comes from this chapter. Let's move on to 12th standard concept which are easy to understand and high yield concepts. First chapter here is electrostatics which include uh, electric field, electric potential and capacitance. In electric field they can ask uh, as it is mostly based on formulas and there can be some question even from the theory part. So focus on theory two, and there will mostly be formula based question that is from electric field, dipoles, capacitance, pot electric potential. They can, they can even ask the graphs of electric field, variation of electric field or electric potential. And there can be like questions which are interlinked to gravitation in this chapter as the formulas are a bit alike. And next chapter is magnetism that is magnetism and matter in this chapter there will be theory based question so you have to read go through NCRT once so that you understand better theory most of the time there will be theory based question from this chapter and uh, the moving charges and magnetism in that chapter as I told in electrostatics you have to focus on formulas and some theory if you know some theory and formulas you are good to go and you can score well in these chapters. Next chapter is AC. In AC, it, it is also like for mostly formula based question. Uh, they can be like, uh, they can ask about average current, current RMS or relation between current voltage and resistance. And they can even ask about uh, LCR, LR circuit, CR circuit, no more about that. There will be repeated question from these concepts. And next chapter is EMI electromagnetic induction this chapter questions will be like mostly theory based so focus more on theory and formulas to get good marks in these chapters and in em waves this is totally theory based and they can uh, uh, ask some formulas too so focus on theory for em waves chapter the high yield concept in 12th standard is Modern physics in modern physics, dual nature uh, atoms, nuclei. Usually, three to four question comes from this chapter, which will be a little bit easier. And as the formulas, uh, as the questions will be more formula based, you can easily solve attend this question. As atoms and nuclei are similar in physics uh, chemistry too, you can interlink them and understand them better. And you have to even uh, focus more on theory part for modern physics. There can be some theory theory type question in modern physics and next is wave optics in wave optics there will be question from theory to theory and as well as there are very few concept which from which the question will be come will come from wave optics that is like diffraction polarization and resolving power these three concepts are very important usually question comes from these concepts and theory based question can be asked too in wave optics chapter usually one or two question comes from this chapter so focus here and last chapter is semiconductors in this chapter there are very few formulas and it's bit it seems bit complex in regards to the circuits and all but there are very few formulas and concepts to understand here power gain current gain voltage gain of the circuit and uh, you have to know the logic gates usually question comes from these concepts so focus more on these concepts I'm not telling that you have to neglect complete mechanics ray optics and all if you find these concepts mechanics ray optics and current uh, current electricity difficult you can like at, at least understand the basic concept and formulas so even if an easy question comes from these chapters, you can uh, easily try them. And in spite of current electricity, ray optics, mechanics, if you like good at these chapters, you can ace in physics. You can easily get 80 plus in physics if you focus on these chapters that I have mentioned here. If you, fo if you are good in formulas and some theory for some chapters, you can easily get 80 plus in physics. Thank you for more updates. Subscribe to our channel and share it as much as you can so that 
it may reach the students who are in need for this video.